As we honor Earth Day today on the Balancing Act, it's time to clear the air literally. Is the air you're breathing at home clean? You know, free from dust, dander, allergens, all those nasty, tiny, even microscopic things that aggravate allergies and can really affect you and your family's health. With us talking about bringing affordable air quality into your home is the host of today's homeowner television and radio shows, Danny Lipford. He's also a licensed home contractor who's been servicing homeowners for more than 30 years. Good morning. Hey, good to see you, Olga. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, my pleasure. I got to tell you, the reality is, you know, we have regular filtration at home sure. and sometimes even ventilation systems, mm -hmm. but sometimes, Danny, it's not enough, right? Well, most of the times it's not enough because there's so much in the house now. You know, for years, people like I have been telling people to really tighten the envelope of the home and make sure that you make it as energy efficient as possible. Well, millions of people have listened and now we've got a real problem with the air quality inside your home. And I'm going to be personal here because I'm always always concerned about it. I have two girls yeah. and one of them is asthmatic. So oh I'm, boy, yeah. I'm always on top of that situation. Sure, sure. So I'm actually so glad you're <laughs> here today. So what should a homeowner do to improve the indoor air solution? Yeah, well make situation, sure, make sure that you really ventilate as much as you should. One area in the home is the kitchen, another is the bath, several other areas of the home that's a big concern. But when you have a, a range hood, you need to use it not only while you're preparing. Does it help? Oh, I have oh, it, it. Help, it helps a lot. Uh, as long as it's a, a good quality one and is sized properly as far as the cubic feet per minute movement of air and so forth. That used to be a really loud. Nowadays, uh, Braun Newtons made them so much quieter, so much more efficient. It's easier <laughs> to use, and of course you should. In terms of the entire house, because this can help in the kitchen area, what do we do when it comes to just the bathrooms, the kitchen? Sure. Uh, well, well, the bathroom also, you know, having a good exhaust fan. And I'll tell you, uh, one, of, one just like this, matter of fact, I have this exact one in my shower, and it has a humidistat control in it. So you just leave the switch on and when that humidity level gets up to a certain level, it's going to power on, it's going to exhaust it out very quietly so that you never have to worry about it. I'll tell you what, I've had my shower there for about a year, no mold, no mildew, it really works very well. Vacuum cleaner is really important. I love to vacuum my house. I have, <laughs> a, I have tile, so <laughs> I, I always try to really keep it clean, but my my brother, who is a contractor, says, right. you've got the wrong cleaner. Well, I'll tell you why. Because even the very advanced canister type vacuum cleaners that have the HIPAA filter, it sounds good, but you're bringing air and contaminants into that vacuum cleaner and it's blowing air back out. So you're only getting part of the problem taken care of. With a central vac, this blows everything all the way to the outside. And you wouldn't believe, Olga, how powerful this is. It's five times more powerful than any of the other ones out there. So you're getting it cleaner and you're moving all of those allergens and pet dander and all of the mycelia and everything right outside instead of circulating it inside the home. So it's just a much, much better way to go. Now, let me ask you, I do mm -hmm. like ease of use and I see this and I kind of think, oh my gosh, I'm so petite, but easy to use? Well, it's very easy and that's another big advantage of it because the large unit sits out in your garage or out in your utility room. So if you have a two-story house, think about carrying that um, heavy canister vacuum cleaner upstairs, downstairs. No. This is all you're carrying here. You're kidding. And it has all these accessories. I'll tell you what, my girls, I have three girls and occasionally they will vacuum their cars. They even hook it up to that, take it right outside. It does a fantastic job. And they vacuum their cars? Yeah, no, not very often. Can you have them call my girls, yes, please? <laughs> just every now and then when I make them feel guilty, they do this. There so. you go. So bottom line, you know, at the end of the day, really important things people should keep in mind, whether there's asthma in their house, nothing. You just keeping the air healthy. Well, absolutely, and it's not only moisture, that's very important, but you have chemicals in your home for cleaning and so forth. So, I mean, the ultimate way to go is a whole house ventilation system, and um, the systems are very small, they're very easy to have installed by a professional, and essentially, not only is it exhausting the air it needs to exhaust, it's also bringing fresh air in and balancing that so that it's not just all air going out, and it'll even, during cold weather, it'll even uh, heat that air coming back in, recovery unit, so that that you're not wasting a lot of the energy. So ultimately, that's the way to go. These other areas of the home, if you don't have a good bath fin, or if you don't have a good range hood, vented all the way to the outside, not just in the attic. Good point. Then these are uh, good steps that you can take those baby steps before you head to the full house um, ventilation system. These are great tips. Anywhere our viewers can go to learn more? Well, absolutely. You can go to braun.com. That's B-R-O-A-N.com. A lot of information on everything we talked about, as well as just general good scent ventilation tips. I promise. You. I'm going to have my girls call your girls about learning to clean the car. I know, I know. <laughs> Great. <laughs> nice to see you all. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Come back anytime. And if you'd like to learn more about making your home a safer, healthier place for you and your family, head to thebalancingact.com. It's always a breath of fresh air. Or log on to Facebook. Share with us your Earth Day related tips at forward slash thebalancingactfans. This is great. Bye bye.